people are rooted. And the rooting is connections. So we want to create connections for people. People get connected, small group, things of that nature. Amen. Uh, and so we want those that are feeling like, you know what, I could, I could do something that, that will help connect people. We're looking for somebody, actually, that will be part of our connections or will lead our connections team. And, and that's just, to, just somebody that would love to just connect people, you know, find people that are not connected and be like, look, this is how we get connected and create stuff in order to connect people. So that's what we want to do. And hopefully that cycles around because we believe on the 23rd, when we start on the 23rd, friends and family, that it opens and launches us to, to Easter. And, and we're hoping that we get, what, about 100, 120, 150 here on our friends and family. And you're asking where are we going to fit them. It's a good problem to have. We're working on that issue. But um, so 150, what happens is when new people come that have never been here before, they say, well, I like this church. Or people that have never been to church before, I like this church. Let me go and make sure. Because on the 23rd, we're going to almost bombard people with the message, come back for Easter. You know, come back, join us for Easter. It's going to be awesome. And so what happens normally is people say, wow, this is great people. I feel the vibe. I like the song. I like the music. I like the teaching. And 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 they say, well, I'll, I'm going to go back to Easter. And normally what happens is then they ask their family to come. They're like, look, you guys, I'm going to Easter service. Why don't you guys come? So that's then we swell up to about 300. We're, we're believing about 300. Last year we had about 210 people here. So we're going to believe the Lord for 300. But this is the ad addition from last year. This is what we're going to do. We're going to believe that whatever Easter number we are is what God wants us to be as a regular number the year following. So if there's 300 to come on Easter, we're believing that God want, uh, that we're capable and God wants us uh, to minister to 300 people on a weekly basis. Is that good? That's good stuff, right? All right. So we want to make sure everybody begins to do something for the 23rd. Start inviting your friends around. This is the easiest invite you could say you could have. I mean, you could just say, "Look, my my church is doing an open house. I want you to come." Uh, and, and check us out, check out our music, check out my pastor, he's short, but he's powerful, you know, stuff like that, whatever, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, and, and, and then you could say, you could say, and then we're going to feed you, <laughs> you know, that's the easy, oh, I'm, here, I'm there for the food, right, um, and, and we're believing that God, the, the same thing that we're enjoying, they will be enjoying, amen, amen, amen. so this is going to be powerful, I want everybody uh, to get involved in that, and for those that gave extra last week, um, to, to support what we're doing. There's some new things that are coming. It's going to be powerful. One of the new things that we're doing here is that with this, this, this pre-service, Sunday service, pre-celebration, celebration, and then post-celebration um, approach that we're doing, uh, we have two people that we're going to present today, amen, that are leading our uh, pre-service is going to be our marketing uh, lead lead guy, amen, uh, team leader, amen, and he's going to be overseeing uh, distribution of our marketing materials uh, through our neighborhood, amen. So I want to ask Brother Darius to come, amen, praise the Lord. I baptized him myself, amen. He recently uh, uh, just just reconnected, amen, and and. and um, where Darius just you could just stand up here, bro. Yeah, I love seeing new leaders come up, man. That's that's exciting stuff. Amen. And then our post service is we're having follow up. So we're, we're we have a follow up team now. And if you if you want to be part of our follow up team, Amen. We're creating a follow. If you want to be part of our marketing team, we have a marketing team that's going to be built under or with rather because we you know we 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 are here as foundational people with. Uh, Brother Darius, amen. And the follow-up team, praise God, will be to call people, uh, to get people connected to small groups uh, and work with our connections team leader uh, to make sure that the new people are connected in any way, shape, or form to those that are already established partners and family members of our church. Amen. And this person that has stepped up for one year, has committed to being a follow-up leader, is Brother Stephen uh, Marrero. Amen. If he could come up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother Stephen was discipled, amen, Brother Stephen was discipled by Brother Danny, his cousin, and a great testimony. I wanted to share a little bit, amen, just to testify, they're both nervousy, nervousy, all right, uh, but it's okay, amen, uh, we like nervous people, amen, you know what my dad always said, if you're afraid, do it afraid, do it afraid, just, just don't let fear run you, just do it afraid, all right, amen, I'm scared right now, <laughs> amen. 
All right, so we want to, we want to, we, we, we want them to share, and then we're going to stand and pray for them. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. My name is Darius. For those of you who don't, don't know me, um, we're both nervous. I didn't even know I was going to be speaking, all right, but I'm here. And uh, anyway, marketing. PJ asked me to be part of the marketing and more or less, uh, we, we haven't even really devised a plan as far as what we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing some video testimonies for some of you that wanna share what God has done in your life. So if you wanna come up to me after the service, and then we can speak about that. Um, other than that, we're gonna be handing out some flyers in the neighborhood and uh, whatever God leads for us to do at this point. You know, we're just gonna bind together. One of the things that I said this morning, I said to myself, if I can just bring, commit to bringing one person a week here, right now the church is packed out. If every one of us brought one person a week, imagine what could happen. There would be, it would be standing room only. So, yeah, I mean, how many of you would you say right now would commit to one person a week? Do I see any hands? Anybody? No? <laughs> okay, good. All right. Praise God. <clears throat> well, unlike Darius, I knew I was going to speak today. <laughs> I was giving the heads up about this. But um, I was going to give my testimony about me and Islam and how I came from that. But God's speaking something else into my heart. And um, yesterday, I was heading home and... People always ask me this. This is almost two years now that I've been coming here every Sunday. And they say, wow, you travel all the way from Brooklyn. And my response from that was, like, this is where I fell in love with God. So it means so much to me to come here every week. And I think... For me, when I was in Islam and everything, the hardest thing for me was that I was a huge skeptic. I was always questioning things, and part of my <coughs> major in life is like science, so that's what I do, and I was always kind of questioning things. And it blinded me from God. It blinded me from His glory, and not, wor and not walking with the Lord, not walking with Jesus, not choosing Jesus. And... I can stand here and I can just talk, but I would say to anybody to just come to prayer service to talk to God. Come to Bible study to actually hear His Word. And through all these things that God puts us through, all He can ask for is just for you not to be blinded, for you to be able to hear His Word through those times. And I just, <laughs> I'm just so glad to be here and I thank Jesus every single day that I'm here. Let's all stand, church. We're going to pray for these guys. Amen. Listen, there's a lot of areas to serve in our church. We are, are making it that whatever your passion is, you can serve God. We believe that your passion directs uh, where, where God is, is going to lead you. We believe that your passion directs your purpose uh, for what God is going to do. And we don't want to put you in something that you don't have a passion for. Uh, but we do want to find your passion so that we could put you to where God wants you to work in. Your passion will, will, will open up your purpose in your life. And we have a ton of serve opportunities here and we're constantly moving it. And, and, and what we want to do is we want to make everything ready by the 23rd because we're believing new people are coming and we want to make sure they're staying. We want to close the back door. We want to make sure people come into the house. Amen. And they love the house and we give them every chance they get to be able to get to know Jesus the way we do. I mean, Danny discipled Stephen and now he's about to disciple others for Jesus. And, and we want that perpetuated. Listen, if you have a heart, if you have a heart where you want to disciple somebody, you can, we believe here in our church, we believe that everybody here is a minister. And everybody here has a gift to pastor at least 10 people. At least 10 people. And pastor them and disciple them for Jesus Christ. And see their lives turn over 
we, we believe that and we're creating serve opportunities and, and looking for um, small group leaders so that Stephen here can help connect them to you and to your group and root them into the things of God. Amen. So the work of Darius will hand over to Stephen and it will not go uh, uh, into void, but it will do what it was, it was intended to do. Amen. I'm believing that God, if we do this right, if we do this right, we could see hundreds and hundreds of people come to know Jesus. Amen. And again, for those of you that are wanting to, you can connect with Stephen if you want to join his team. You can connect to Darius if you want to join his team. Amen. We got so many other teams that, are, um, you know, that I'm not going to spend time here, but uh, we are going to start something uh, probably next month or just after next month. It's called, it's called Growth Track. Amen. And it's going to help you find who you are in Christ and help you become aware, uh, become the, uh, the person that God wants you to be under purpose and things of that nature. Amen. Would you lift your voices up to God? Amen. Ministers, would you come up? Praise the Lord. The pastors of the church. Amen. Ministers of the body of Christ. Amen. Won't you come up? Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's, let's pray for this, these guys. Amen. Father, we, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For these men, oh Lord God, that are committing their lives to you to lead an area of ministry, God, that definitely needs attention, Lord. I pray, oh God, that you anoint them, God, and give them the hunger, Lord God, to see souls won for you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. To see your work, oh God, your kingdom expand. Father, hallelujah. To do a magnificent work for your body, Lord God, to see the kingdom expand and your church grow. I pray, oh God, that this burden will be placed upon them, God, that it will it will be their bread, God. It will be air to them, God. It will make them feel alive. It will make them feel gifted and talented, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, church, lift your voice. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys.